Welcome to another video from the Thirsty, the Thirsty Thrifters. Thrifters. That was, Cheers. That was weak. I don't know why I don't like my clinks. They're they're fine. My name's Tara. I'm Dave. And I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and a tiny bit on eBay. My Poshmark closet name is Tara Stutes. It'll be on the screen as usual <clears throat> and the links will be below. And to show the wine we're drinking like we drink every time, pretty much. Yes. <laughs> Brown County. Brown County wine. Merlot. Yep. Uh, and Our to, favorite. That's true. In case you haven't heard that before. Today we're doing our best and worst, best and worst sales from the month of April. It's now May. Second? First? What is today? Mm -hmm. It's early May. So we're ready to go showing you what sold in April. Dave gets to read things. Ooh, it's a reading day. It's a reading day. Yay. <laughs> Hooray. I've got uh, six uh, items or bundles that I are things that I'm going to tell you why I would not recommend buying them. Some may be pretty self explanatory. Once you see the picture. <laughs> Here's the first one. The first one's a bundle. You want to read the names of the items on oh. our iPad here? Truce, rolled tab, cuff denim jean shorts, and joy jean studded butterfly crop denim jacket. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. I'm off to a great start. This was a bundle. Um, of a couple of items I'd had for a while. The first was a pair of shorts my mom bought to resell uh, because they were denim shorts. They were a junior size, which um, I would say are not the best option for reselling. People aren't usually searching for juniors things. And then the jean jacket it was when I had bought several jean jackets. Um, and this one had some butterfly design on the back so I thought it was cute but it did take a long time to sell so I'm gonna probably stick to name brand jean jackets next year for that reason we're gonna find the next one which is oddly enough another denim jacket here we go it's gonna be in that big line at the top too bandolino blue light wash <laughs> denim jean jacket light wash you got to emphasize <clears throat> the right words together. <laughs> I'm just reading. I think I bought this at the, on the same day, but um, I blue light. Bandolino's not a real uh, great brand. None of, the, none of the kids are looking for Bandolino anything. So um, it sold for fourteen dollars, but it took a long time. So again, I'm sticking gonna stick with name brand denim jackets next year when I'm looking for them. Okay, next is a bra, Dave's favorite. You don't have to touch it, at least. Victoria's Secret Red Satin Polka Dot Demi Bra. <laughs> That's just the name of the design. Uh, I put this on here to uh, just talk about the fact I think I'm going <clears throat> to be not buying very many bras anymore. Um, I was buying... Pretty much all the Victoria's Secret I could find. The sales have slowed down on those. This sold for $10. Um, if anything, it would be like the super push-up kinds. or That's probably what I'm going to stick to um, at this point. Super push-ups. Super push-up bras. Super duper. <laughs> Alright. Oh, i got to find the next Thanks one. Thanks for finding the next one. <laughs> it's right here. Calm down. Postmark Anthro. Fairly bird print stripe top. That's the title of the item. I had this forever. Um, so. Is it bird print? It's got some bird print on it. As you will see when you put the picture on the screen for everybody. There's a little bird print. It's very cute. If it were my size, I would have worn it. Because it's I, I like this style. I don't know if it's the size. Or I think it's the fact that anthropology has taken over resellers everywhere and there's too much so um it was a unique one though i like the birds i mean i liked it i don't know why it didn't sell but i'm going to be 
real careful with anthropology from now on. I think I may look for more unique things, you know, styles, vintage things that are interesting instead of every anthropology piece I ever see. Okay, this one, this was sold actually to like my favorite buyer. She bought, has bought three things for me. I thought I was from, your favorite buyer. You don't buy stuff from me. She's bought three items from me now separately. I just sent her another one or it will go out in the morning. But she did buy this. Uh, finally, I sold it. Gap. Bat wing sleeve. Exposed seam. Pinstripe top. We bought this on the way home from wine, the winery last year at that Goodwill half off day. So it's been five months since I bought it. Ooh. It was very cute. I thought probably somebody would notice the style. It had stripes with silver thread in them. But like I said five months to sell for ten dollars <throat> so I thought maybe that gap would, would be an exception to the rule that gap is not a great seller but it was not and the last one on the things I'm not gonna buy anymore Wallace made well off-white cream open knit sweater now I'm showing the, you this one because the style Wallace and Madewell are usually fairly good brands. I thought those were good, Tara. It is, but I could not get a good picture of this thing. It was just a plain white, like cream white sweater. Mm. I could not get a good picture of it. So it did take, I think I may have bought that at the same time as that Gap shirt. So I think it took about five months. So if you cannot find a stock photo or you know it's going to be ugly, maybe don't buy it. Well, I mean, don't buy ugly things in general. <laughs> okay. If you know you can't get a good photo, think twice about it. It might not sell very fast. I'm going to talk now about three eBay sales. I don't sell a lot on eBay. I have like 75 items for sale now, and that's way more than I've had. I just got a little store like two weeks ago or something. But I did have three fairly good sales uh, this month. I only had like five sales total so WWF the first one is interesting this was um, my little brothers and my mom was cleaning out stuff and said you think this will sell I was like yep I didn't even look it up but when I did look it up there were two sold and they were both like 60 some dollars well I found that mine had some stains like a lot of stains and one ripped part but I knew it'd still sell. I put it up for, I think, $40. I got an offer of $21, like, within a day. I was like, yes, we'll take that. So, weird stuff sells. And vintage WWF stuff sells. I just told, like, I didn't let Dave say we're doing that whole I'm thing. I'm not going to talk. Did you this. like the WWF? It's, did you, we didn't even tell him what it was. We just said the WWF. I thought I said it. It was a comforter. I th you haven't said comforter Did I say once comforter this yet? entire video. It was a comforter. Well, you. It was the WWF. <laughs> we sold the WWF for twenty dollars. <clears throat> WWF blanket comforter, vintage Hulk Hogan wrestling, Macho King. Now macho they know. King. Macho, it's macho man. Macho why did I put, King. Why did I put Macho? I think I copied somebody else's listing, and they have Macho King, but I know the <laughs> Macho King is not a wrestler. Macho King Randy Savage. Okay, move on. You can read it right there. The time. 3M Litman Select Stethoscope Mint Green Blue Tube <laughs> 8P Gently Used. These titles are even longer than Poshmark. You're going to love them more. Stop it. We found these at the bins. Do you remember? Yep. We did. They were in a haul video. $30 they sold for. That almost paid for the entire haul of stuff. I don't remember what we spent that day, but it's usually 30 to $50, so... Boom. Yep. Okay, and this is the last one I was going to have you read. The Men's cool, cool, cool. Cool. Remember the cool pants? Cool pants. Cool gray hiking cargo outdoor pants. Size 34 by 32. Contrast stitching. <laughs> These are the ones that were very, very pilled on the inside. Oh, the cool ones. Did you not get that by the word cool? 
Well, it's not spelled like I spell cool. I sold them in less than a day for $20. Wow. So whoever said that they will sell, even if they're worn and all that, they were right. Okay, back to Poshmark now. We're going to talk about our Poshmark Fast Sales. And the criteria I used was it sold in under one week. And we have 20-something. Isn't that crazy? I don't know why I get so many fast sales. Like, I don't think I have super in-demand items. So I don't know why that happens to me. Could it be all your sending out offers? A lot of these I didn't even send out an offer. Liking likers? I don't like likers. <laughs> How dare you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here's the first one. Torrid black, crisscross, faux suede, platform wedges. Okay. They were $15, so not a huge sale, but I think I got them at half off day for two fifty, dollars something like that. Uh, and this girl really wanted them. She sent me messages about them and was happy I took her offer. And it was just a couple days to sell those. I haven't had much luck with Torrid clothing lately. But shoe, that's the only pair of shoes I've ever had and it sold fast. I have a pair of Torrid leggings with like 35 likes. And they're only $20. With like 35 likes? With like 35 likes. Like. That's like... Ridiculous. OMG. <laughs> okay, we're going to go on to a bundle. It's like a bundle. <sighs> but like, not. I'll find it. Okay. This was four items in this bundle and... I'm just going to read the title. You can't. I'm not reading four of your insanely long eBay I will just, titles. I will just explain. There was a yellow dress that was new with tags from a brand called Fashion Terminal, which I've never heard of. Probably sold at an airport. There was a Free People... I see what they did with the word there. There was a Free People tunic, which I had bought at a consignment shop to, sell, to wear myself and then I didn't like the way it looked. A vintage bathing suit and that vintage Lacoste dress. Oh yeah, the one with a shirt. One? It looked like a stewardess flight yeah, attendant dress. Like a long shirt. No, it's a dress. Yeah, but it looked like a long shirt. It's a shirt dress. It's a shirt dress. Okay, so we sold those four items for Tennis dress. six. Uh, our earnings were sixty-four. What was the price of the bundle? Do 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 eighty. Do do do. <laughs> you keep that up, I'm gonna make you sing all the titles. Nope. So a couple of those were very new items, but that first one that yellow random dress was like listed for one day so that is the one that made me put it on the list because I could I can see on my report how many days between listing and sale and it's like one day so that was a pretty good bundle wouldn't you say I would say that was a good bundle thank and you and you got five stars yes the next one is an athleta bundle you can read those two items if you want sing them sing them Athleta Neon Green Pulse Running Workout Shorts. Athleta Purple Hot Shorts Performance Half Zip. Well, that is a type of hot shorts. I just read it's them. It's a folks. shirt. And they're not. I think it's Hot Shots. I think it was the Hot Shots was the name of the shirt. <clears throat> well, can't fix it now. The that uh, Athleta pullover was really new. The shorts I'd had forever. So that was a great deal. <laughs> I got, I had something sell really fast and I got rid of an item that I'd had for too long. $25 total and our earnings were 20. That was during a bundle sale I was having, which we lots of bundles worked here. very well, but I'm not gonna explain it because it's a secret. Okay. Secret bundle. Another bundle that has something new in it. Okay, this is the bundle, two items. Moda. International White Lace Hem Dress, Victoria's Secret, Angel Wings Black Yoga Pants. So the thing that was brand new was this Moda International dress. Where is that sold? No clue. Macy's? I don't know. I can't remember. 
This is something my mom had purchased to resell, and I thought that will never sell or it'll take forever. And it sold like within one day. With another you pair. You know your stuff, don't you? With a pair of yoga pants she had bought. So that was all my mom's deal. Um, we're going to go on to the Lily Pulitzer dress. It's a Lily Pulitzer. <laughs> Meriden. Wrap blue and green dress. This was a this was a good. What's buy. a Meriden? That's the name of it. What do you mean? You Google the style number on the tag, uh, and that's what came up. Right. I just don't know don't what Meriden is. Um. So this dress was uh, tagged as a robe at the Goodwill and was one ninety nine. So I got it for it was a little bit under because I get an extra discount, and it sold for forty five dollars in like one day. How do you get an extra discount to it? When you spend over $20, you get another 10% off. Excellent. We're going to go on to these jeans. These jeans? These jeans. <laughs> so Slimming by Chico's. Girlfriend crop jeans. And I'm trying to remember if my mom bought these or I bought these. I don't remember. But they sold very fast for twenty dollars. End of story. Good story. <laughs> All right, this is the fastest <clears throat> sale of the month. Was it freaky fast? It was. Oh my gosh, how fast was it? I will explain it if you read it first. Oh, I can't wait to hear. Victoria's Secret, pink, pink and gray sequin tee. Do you remember all the pink stuff we found at the this one's outlet? Pink. pink and Victoria's gray. Secret pink. How do I remember we, it? We should be able to say it differently so that we can say it's the brand. All caps pink. Victoria's Secret pink. <laughs> I'm not gonna do not that. Not the color. Pink. <laughs> <laughs> there, no. There's like four more of that coming up. So let's see if we can stick with that. I was listing those. I had listed this one first, this t-shirt, and I was listing the second one and got an offer for the first one. So it sold in under three minutes. That's Jimmy John's fast. Now, it was $10, which is, I had put it up for 15 So I didn't get rich with this super quick offer, but that's great. It was at the Benz. It costs like 50 cents. And let's go on to... Athleta. Athleta. Brown, wide leg, yoga, athletic pants. We bought these the same day. They were a tall size. So, tall. And wide. Yeah. Well, wide leg. Yeah. Tall sizes tend to sell better in pants, jeans, because the tall girls are looking online for their stuff. It's not carried in stores as much, so they have to shop online anyway. Anyway. Anyway, it sold, it sold in like a day, fifteen dollars, anyway. and they were an older style. They didn't even have the tag that has the um, br uh, style number on it, so I couldn't look up what it was called. Can't I just knew it. they were wide leg, and they were brown. Who buys brown yoga pants? Doesn't seem. I mean, it's an earthy color, so maybe if you're doing outdoor yoga or goat yoga, they have that now. Why does that need to be brown? Um, I guess the goat poop would blend to in. To match the goat poop you're going to get on your <laughs> pants somehow. All right, and we have a hat. Solar Escape Floppy Textured Sun Beach Hat. I think we bought the same day. Solar Escape. It that, sold in one day. I've had... It's a fancy way of saying hat, isn't it? <laughs> I've had, uh, I think, two or three... Like big floppy beach hats, and they've all sold really fast. They're popular. No matter what the brand. So I don't know what, why that is, but that may be something to watch for. Next is a White House Black Market top. This is a White House Black Market rhinestone tunic top. I had bought this to wear myself, and then I didn't like the way it fit. I bought it at the Goodwill. I didn't buy it at the real store. I don't do that. But it sold for $18 in, I don't remember how many days, but it was under a week. White House Black Market is one of those brands that 
I have lots of their items that sell really fast, and then I'll have others that take forever to sell. I, I don't understand. We buy a lot of it, I know why. that. Why? I know. I only buy it very inexpensively, though, like a dollar or less. <clears throat> Another bundle. Let's see if we can practice the thing. Victoria's Secret Pink <laughs> Sequined Gray Ringer Tee. <laughs> Victoria's Secret Pink. Sequin black tea. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to catch on, but I hope so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Pink! <laughs> These were purchased from the outlet with that first one. I'm pretty sure they were owned by the same person. They were all together. All um, pink! And these are black. <laughs> <laughs> but they're... She bought two. They were priced $15 each, and she offered me $25 for the both, and I took that right away. That's great. Uh, da, da, da. Next is a pair of jeans that I remember in the haul video saying, I shouldn't have bought those. Ava and Viv mid-rise boot cut jeans, medium wash. Do you remember, do you remember that? Probably not. I said, oh, they're boot, boot cut. That was a bad buy. I think I do remember they that. They sold in a day. What do you know? Nothing. And next we have another bundle oh, of pretty. three things. My bundle sale was over at this point, so this was just a regular old bundle. Silver embroidered zip front denim jacket. And then two... Oh, never mind. I didn't do the jean jacket because denim jean. and jean, it's kind of redundant. It is. Lululemon purple feather pattern workout tank. He's getting tired. <laughs> Lucy green and black floral print workout tank top. Well, all the <laughs> bundles are wearing me out. <laughs> and all the pink. So, uh, yeah, bundle of those three items. Um, the Lucy item, the Lucy green tank. Do you remember that one? Nope. I said if it was blue, I'd keep it for myself. You said about a lot of stuff. Dave doesn't listen to anything I say. And I remember everything I say. But that was very newly listed. And she got a jean jacket that I thought might not ever sell. And a Lululemon tank that I could not find what the style name was. I look on Lulu Fanatics, if you haven't heard of that. They list supposedly every uh, item that's been... In existence from Lululemon like it's like a database I couldn't find it I couldn't find the pattern so I just had to hope somebody thought it was cute and would buy it so the bundle was $34 for those three items and a, a pair of boots that you'll remember you found them or you found one I of them I did find them did you find I found both of them okay. I don't remember I do <laughs> Old West Rust Wide Square Toe Cowboy Boots. But they were more like kids' boots, weren't they? Yeah, but aren't they still cowboy boots? They were listed as kids' Little boots. Little cowboy boots. I mean, they boots. were in the kids' category. Okay. Okay. Well, that's all I needed I to know. I did find like a style number and a stock photo of this. Uh, and they sold for full asking price. How and much? $30. And it was... Every now and then I get Very lucky. Very fast. <laughs> Every now and then I get lucky. And the next is another kid's item. Girls. Mayoral. White lace. Layered sleeveless top. This is a brand I would say to look for. Mayoral. Mayoral. That's the brand name. I've had two items uh, from this brand. The first one I bought on a whim. It was like a puffer coat. For a little girl, size two. I don't remember what it sold for. It was on eBay, but it was a pretty good sale. It just looked expensive to me, and when I looked it up when I got home, it was. And then I found this little tank top, and I knew I remembered that brand. Um, it did have a stain on it, but my mom got it out, and then it sold. Way to go, Debbie! Within one day, she doesn't want us to talk about her. Why? I don't know. She doesn't like it. I'm gonna do it more. <laughs> it sold within one day, $13, but it was just this. I, I don't know. 
We didn't buy it at the bins. I was going to say it was just this really light tank top, but I did pay like a dollar for it. <laughs> Who cares if it's light? You care if it's light at the bins. That's I it. know, but if you didn't get it at the bins. Just hush. Okay. And look at the bra and read it. Super. VSX Sport Molded Cup Racerback Sports Bra. Super de duper push up. No, it's I'm just super de duper support. Yeah. So you don't bounce. <clears throat> this was the first Victoria's Secret sports bra I'd ever purchased. Um, it was kind of a test. It was at the outlet, so it was almost nothing in weight. And it sold very fast. Twelve dollars. Nice. Nice. And next is something given to me by my mother's friend. Because they didn't fit her right. Vintage <clears throat> Levi's 501 button fly jeans, 35 by 36. And I'm going to admit, I do not know much about vintage jeans. Now, I know there's some vintage Levi's that go for a lot of money. I don't know what style they are. I thought it was button fly 501s, so like that was a possibility. But when you look them up, there's a lot that go for $20, $25. So I put them up at 25 and somebody purchased them within a couple days for 20 Good Super. to me. I'll take it. You, you're not getting that. You I'm can't take it. it. You can't take it. Uh, we have two more to go. Getting tired. Venus Hippie Boho <laughs> Style Fringe Tramp Tunic Top. What in the world did I just read? <laughs> Venus hippie boho? Boho style. And hippie. Boho. I put in whatever. What's boho mean? Bohemian. Oh, that aha moment. <sighs> you have so few. Um, oh, thank you. I also purchased this at a consignment shop to wear it myself. I did wear it myself to. You boho. <laughs> The things he that says didn't to me. come out like I thought it was. <laughs> I got halfway through it and I was like, ah, oh, I gotta finish. And then I. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Tara. <laughs> oh. I wore this in Man. California to your show, I think. Some something like that. Last summer I wore it one time. You would it wear the boho in uh, California. <laughs> I think it would look better on somebody that's not curvy. Like, it creates curves, and I do not need any more curves. So I thought, I'll list it, and it sold very fast for $16, which is more than I paid for it originally. The last one is a Dave oh, find. It's the 511 Tactical 7 Pocket Khaki Corka, cor cor <laughs> Cargo Shorts. So you can pull security at the cookout. <laughs> This is the second 5.11 tactical item we've bought and the second one we've sold. This one sold a little faster, yeah. but that is now going to be a brand that we like. There's some prison guard out there that's going to have a shorts day, thanks to us. It sold for $18 in under one day. Nice. So that is the end. I think... I think... Maybe in May, maybe in June, we're going to switch it up and start doing just weekly what sold videos and show you everything that sold for good or bad amounts. But like these videos, Dave doesn't have the patience to go through every item. I sold 113 items, 113 listings, not items, because I had a lot of bundles this month. So I guess that I'm not reading closer That'd be to like 130. 300. 7 to 12 word titles I have to read. Can't handle that kind of workload. It's the time and the pictures. So And the reading. <laughs> he, he hates that. Reading <laughs> stuff. I read all day. <laughs> then you bring me up here and make me read these ludicrous titles you make up. But if we could do like weekly uh, what sold videos, they'd be about the same number of items. And maybe we can figure out a way that's easier for Dave. We could do the, the podunk thing of showing you the iPad right no, there. No, we're not doing all that. I'll 
I can put the pictures in. He can try that. I won't be a baby. <laughs> but we'll see if that happens in May or maybe June. Maybe July. Who knows? And I want to show you, uh, or tell you, our totals for the month of April. We're down a little bit from March, which I was kind of expecting. I know March was a little over 1900 and I'm just going by the title of our video for March. Tara got a five-star rating. From... It's a, it's a pop-up on the phone, in case you're wondering why he's just randomly saying things. I have gotten many five-star ratings. Yeah, it popped up on the phone. Okay, April was a uh, total sales of $1,826. And after all of the Poshmark fees, it was $1,400.05 was the net. And that's not including cost of goods, how much we paid for things. Straight to the vacation fund. Um, yeah, that was a little bit lower than the previous month. I did have, I think, three or four... The three or four first days of April, I had no sales. Do you remember us talking about that? There's only one first day of April. You the said first that. few. <laughs> the it's, first few days. Of, what did I say? The three or four first days of April. That'd be like April Fool's Day, four <laughs> days in a row. Not happening. The first few days of April, I didn't have any sales. That's the uh, time when they started charging sales tax. I think um, that's why. I think people were like. I'm not doing it. I'm not buying from Poshmark anymore. And then after a few days, they're like, okay, I do want that, I guess. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was three or four days of no sales to start my month. So, um, a little lower than usual. And we're getting into summer. This is my first... No, I did sell last summer, but I had way less items. So, this is my first, like, normal summer, I'll call it. Normal. I'm at the number of items that I want to have. I don't want to increase. I don't really want to decrease a whole lot. So this would be what I have in the years going forward. And they say summer is slower. So we're going to see if it decreases in May and June and July. Don't know. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think it's going to go about the same. That's, okay. I, I think it's going to stay the same. We'll see. So that's the end. And um, our question is going to be the same question as our last video. Because we haven't posted the last video yet. We're going to try to edit it right after this. We'll see. Yes. We can do it. Tired. We can do it. Same question. We are accumulating uh, a list of items to do a thrift store scavenger hunt with. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. This is things that you feel like you see almost every time you go to the thrift store. The um, example we gave last time is packages of adult diapers. Depends. <laughs> sometimes I see them, sometimes I don't. It depends. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what I said last <laughs> video. So, like, what else could you think of? that you see at a store every single time? Um, phew. There's just so much stuff. <laughs> I always see a garden hose. You do? Yes. I never noticed that. Garden hose. Or something like uh, a ugly Christmas sweatshirt. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it could be very specific or more general. We're not going to purchase these things. Don't worry. Like you, you can say an old ugly couch, and don't have to worry that man, I'm making them buy an old ugly couch. We're just <laughs> going to show that we saw it. We're not going to purchase these items. Like half of a vacuum cleaner, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, half burnt candles. <laughs> things like that. Donate those, please. <laughs> so please comment below with things that you would like us to search for. We're going to accumulate a list and take our, I was going to say camera, but it's going to be a phone. Take our phone out while we're shopping sometime and see what we can find. And um, that's all I have to say for now. Do you have anything else you'd like to say or read? Done with the reading for the day. I really hope next time uh, we go out we find some Victoria's Secret pink. 
you're supposed to join me. I know, but it's I was scared I was going to knock my glass over. <laughs> so I let you do the pink Thanks. thing. I love to do the pink thing. <laughs> wow. What does that mean? Nothing. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Good night. Cheers. Cheers.